T-minus 45 seconds. The ground umbilical to the third straight stage has been disconnected. The launch command will be issued at T-minus 19 seconds. It's about 10 seconds from now. T minus 15 seconds, the second umbilical tower is now separating. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff. Liftoff of Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yushikin, and Luca Parmitano on a six hour ride to the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. After 30 seconds, all parameters for the Soyuz rocket are nominal. About uh, one minute into the launch, velocity should be 1,100 miles an hour. Soyuz blazing into the night sky over Kazakhstan. seconds into the flight and all systems are go. The escape tower has been jettisoned. The four uh, strap-on boosters have been jettisoned and these have completed their job and are going to be dropping away to an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz traveling at 3,350 miles an hour. Now receiving uh, live views from inside the Soyuz capsule. At the bottom is uh, Fyodor Yushikin. At the top, Luca Pamitano as they monitor the controls of the Soyuz as it climbs into orbit. Shroud jettison has been confirmed. The rocket's altitude now approximately 48 miles tall. Soyuz uh, traveling at approximately 4,700 miles an hour now. Mission Control Moscow reports all parameters are normal. Second stage engines are in normal operation. The Soyuz core stage performing as expected. It the core stage is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, and a single engine with four fuel chambers, providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage continues to burn until the four minute, 43 second mark. The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will ignite while the second is still burning. And that's why the Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages. Second stage engine continuing to function normally, and we have a good, good look at Karen Nyberg inside the spacecraft.
at four minutes and 43 seconds. The third stage will ignite and the second stage will begin shutting down. Mission Control Moscow reports all systems normal. Second stage separation com com confirmed. The third stage is igniting. Karen Nyberg waving as the flight continues to go nominally. Now five minutes and 30 seconds following launch, the Soyuz is being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage, that engine providing 30 tons of thrust, burning for four minutes and two seconds. Visiting vehicle officer reporting to flight director Royce Renfrew that third stage engines are all nominal. Six and a half minutes since launch, all systems still normal. Mission Control Moscow reporting that the roll, pitch, and yaw control thrusters are all functioning well as the crew continues its climb into orbit. Third stage engine uh, and continues to op operate normally. Seven minutes and 30 seconds since launch, the spacecraft speed is almost 13,500 miles an hour. Once this third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for its orbit operations. These stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored in those computers. Eight minutes into the flight, all systems normal. Eight and a half minutes since the launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome's launch pad number one, Soyuz rocket and spacecraft continue to function as planned. At eight minutes and 45 seconds, coming up just now, the third stage will cut off and separate. The single liquid-fueled engine will have shut down and drop away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports to Flight Director Royce Renfrew that third stage separation has been confirmed.
The Soyuz capsule and crew inside are now safely in orbit, and the spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-programmed commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays.